Hello my friend, welcome to a video about acoustic mixing. My name is Joshua S. with Cellar Door Sound. Today we are going to take a session uh, that was previously recorded. We're going to lay some acoustic guitar over it and then I'm going to show you how to take a mono acoustic guitar and make it really wide in stereo. It's a really really cool trick that you definitely don't want to miss. Now before I get into that, if you are just learning how to EQ, if you're learning how to compress, or you really just want some presets to load on your vocals to make them sound awesome very quickly, I created a completely free ultimate vocal preset bundle that includes over 30 presets for EQ, compression, saturation, and it comes with a free trading video that walks you through how to load them onto your computer so that you can access them at any time that you want, and how to slightly manipulate these presets so that they will work on any vocal that you have. This isn't a preset bundle that you just download and throw on a bunch of stuff and hopefully it sounds good. This is designed for you to learn and to grow as a mixer and I really created this so that you can you can actually start to mix yourself. So go grab those at celadorsound.co slash free presets or click the link in the description. These presets work in GarageBand as well as Logic. So go grab them. They're free. I made them for you. All right, let's get into the video today. I'm just gonna play this session really quick. Uh, this is just a, a simple kind of like background music-ish type of thing for a video. Uh, let's let's give it a listen here. All right, cool. This hasn't been mixed yet. This is just just standalone basically what it is bounced out and sent to me so just listening to this uh the groove just kind of isn't really there and i wanted to add just a little bit of acoustic guitar so we're going to record this acoustic guitar um i'm not like a super serious guitar player but i i thought of this idea and i've used it so many times and i wanted to show you how to do this because it's really cool a lot of times i get sent over sessions that just have a mono acoustic guitar and i want to make it stereo even in the choruses and you can use a plug-in to make things stereo I've shown you that in the past but this is a much better way of doing things to make it true stereo and very interesting so we're gonna quickly record this acoustic guitar and I'm gonna be using the sure motive microphone it's really awesome and uh, it's the MV7, and right now I have it set for kind of a uh, YouTube podcast sort of settings. It's really awesome. Uh, we're going to switch to manual mode here to record this acoustic guitar on it, because it actually sounds pretty good on acoustic guitar. All right, so you can see here my voice definitely changed. Uh, it's got all the gain and everything here, but we're going to add a little filter here, a little high pass filter, and I'm just going to move this guy to just some light compression. So... The number one thing, I'm just doing a quick little guitar demo, is I, a lot of people just kind of throw a mic on a guitar and just kind of hope it sounds good, and I get a lot of recordings that sound this way. And I want to show you the difference here. I'm going to play this little section really quick um, with the mic kind of right over the sound hole. That seems to be a, a popular miking technique. We're going to listen to how that sounds, and then I'm going to move it over to about the 15th fret, just pointing straight at the 15th fret and if you have kind of a background acoustic guitar type thing it works so well a much cleaner sound whenever you're actually slightly up on the on the fretboard instead of getting all that low end um, from the hole so let's try it all right so that is a sound hole now let's uh let's move it up here to about the 15th fret So you can hear in that first mic position, there was a lot of low end going on that I know I'm going to have to EQ. So I like to start with the mic to EQ that first. And we moved it to about the 15th fret, just pointing straight at the fret. And we were about, uh, I don't know, two or three inches away. 
and it sounded really clean and nice. I mean, both positions sounded great, but if I'm thinking about this in terms of this song and it being kind of more of a attack, like background rhythm type thing, I want to get rid of some of that low end, and you can do that by moving the mic slightly up the fretboard, and it works really well. So let's record this part really quick. Again, I'm not a... <laughs> I don't claim to be a uh, guitar player, so but we're going to do the best we can do. All right, so we recorded this acoustic guitar. Sounds pretty decent. I just did a couple takes on it, and this is what it sounds like. Decent, decent guitar. All right, so let's just pretend that somebody sent this to me. I'm doing a full mix on this, and I have this monoacoustic guitar. We have some kind of stereo delays and stuff going on, which is fine, but I really want to take this mix up a notch and add a lot more interest and make it just sound overall better, I guess. So what I want to do is I want to make this acoustic guitar stereo. Now, kind of as I said, I could go in and add a stereo plug-in on this thing, uh, but I don't really want to do that. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna first find kind of the halfway point where uh, the acoustic guitar changes chords in the in the middle of the song, and we're gonna make make a cut here. Uh, let's see. All right, so I think it is here. That looks about right. So we're going to hit Command T to cut this guy. All right. Cool. So that's where it's at. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to click this second region here. And we're going to click and we're going to drag it right there. And then we're going to hold down Option on this guy. Click and drag it right here. So we kind of like swapped around... And now we have the same guitar part that's happening on both of these tracks here, but they're slightly different because it's technically a different take. It's a second take. So what's cool about this is now I can pan one left and we can pan one right, and it sounds like a stereo guitar. pretty sweet. I mean, before we just had this. And just copying a different section of the song that's the same, we have a, we have a stereo image now. Now, I've done this in songs where I have chorus one and chorus two, and I'll just bring chorus two to chorus one and chorus one to chorus two and do this same thing copy those regions and it just brings out this this super wide panning like you recorded it that way and it sounds so much better than than the sound that you'll ever get with an actual stereo plugin where you where you make a single mono plugin stereo this is natural it's not like taking up a ton of space and uh, and it adds so much more to this song. So the one thing to keep in mind that you'll kind of have to do is you can see at the end of this guy here, it kind of cuts off this, this last little chord. And so to fix that, all you have to do is kind of find the ending, which is usually about halfway between this guy. It's right there. So we are going to take that this last bar here. So we're going to hit command We're going to hit command T and then we're going to go here, hit command T. And now we are going to option click and drag this guy here. And let's see how this sounds. Okay. 
perfect. It fits in, we can add some fades and do that whole thing. And now we don't have that cut in audio there. And sometimes you'll have to do that. Sometimes the end of a certain chorus will be a little bit of a change. So you kind of got to go back and find the right chords that go in there. But it really doesn't take very much time to do this. And it makes it sound so, so, so much better. So just to recap, we did a little bit of acoustic guitar recording, changed the mic position, got it. We basically EQ'd this acoustic by itself um, without, without having to go in and EQ it. And by itself, it sounds pretty good. So we recorded our take. We found that middle point. We cut it, and we option, click, and drug it to a second channel. And then we drug the first part to that second channel as well. And then once we had both guitars, we just panned one left and panned one right, and it sounds like this. A little bit of reverb and we're good to go. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it and I hope you can take this and use it on your own songs. Uh, if you haven't yet, please go grab my Ultimate Vocal Preset Bundle, over 30 presets free for you to use on any vocal that works in GarageBand or Logic Pro. So click the link in the description and go grab that completely free. Next week, we're going to go into mixing these acoustic guitars with this song. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of EQ, compression, some reverb and delay stuff that's, that'll be really fun, and we're going to kind of mix it in uh, and get this thing going.